Good morning to you. Hope you're doing uh, well. As you can kind of see, I th think we're trying a slightly different setup this time, and it's actually been a bit of a pain to go through and get everything figured out here. So it's okay. What happened here? Okay, back. This is different. So it's been trial and tribulation so I had to make sure things are working background noises so it's been a bit of pain in the butt but it's here so I think so we'll figure out how this kind of turns out I can stop getting notifications up been a challenge which is some of the things to kind of go through just kind of go with the flow and just that's part of what Balance of the Triad is so by the way this is David Richard Allen with Balance of the Triad Body, Mind and Spirit so hope you're doing well today so again I'm running a little well Anywhere between 10 and 10.30 in the morning is when I've been getting on here, but this will delay because of challenges. So we'll find out how this goes. So I talked about yesterday that sometimes through the life, the ups and downs, the trials and tribulations, we can have a tendency to lose yourself. And that can be in your physically, mentally, and um, spiritually as well. But you can go through and find the time to rediscover yourself. So... And losing yourself can, can also include your health in all areas. However, as you can see in the, in the kind of description here, with both of those, if you're willing to put in the effort, you can rediscover both of those. And health can a lot of times be the starting point. Because without health, without your health, you're not much good to anybody. As uh, someone said, you're not much good to anyone dead. <clears throat> so health should always, I feel definitely, is should always be your priority. Now, whether it's your body, your mind, your spirit, all three need to be integrated. However, there could be times, as we've talked about in the past, where one is more important to you than the other. It just depends on what's going on in your life. Um, but that's one of the biggest things, is just to go through and realize you can, no matter what's going on, there's something you can always do. There might not be a whole lot of, um, what's the word I'm kind of looking for here? There are certain things you can do, and there's certain things you can't do. There's certain things that are going to be out of your control, and certain things that are within your controls. But at least start with in here, your head and your heart. There's a start there. But with your physical, oh, sorry, I keep getting a notice here that something like the frame looks like I don't know what to do. I tried figuring out how to find it, and I don't know how to change it. So hopefully it's okay in your end. I'll find out when I watch the replay. Um, but always start with those. Again, we always talk about the baby steps. What are the smallest things you can do today to start working your health? Whether it look at your is it going to be your weight? Is it going to be your mindset? Is it going to be your heart and your connection with yourself, connection with others? But once you can get on that path there, no matter how far you well, maybe it's been 10, 20 years since you've done anything with your health. Maybe you put it on weight. you got a bunch of, instead of it's inches and inches around you, you can still take the steps to remedy that. However, you have to be willing to do the work. It can't just be done on its own. You have to put in the effort no one else can do it for. I can share all sorts of information here about one things you can do, but you're the one that's got to take the effort and do what needs to be done. I can't do that for you. <laughs> Yet saying that, you can take those steps. You can do it. And as the process you go through, as you start getting your health back, you can start to feel better physically, maybe have more energy. You can more, better sleep at night. You go throughout the day. And you also start to feel better about yourself. And as you start taking care of yourself you're going to have most people are going to have a tendency as they if, say if you start with we're going to start with the physical aspect with work and exercise then they start eating healthier because <clears throat> you've heard the term you are what you eat but you also you eat what you are because if you're not feeling good about yourself you're normally not going to eat very good but if you are feeling good yourself you're normally going to take a better chance of eating healthier and then in turn by doing a lot of that there that's going to tie in and you have a better connection to yourself so they all intertwine back together <clears throat> So start with the health, because that's one of the easiest things you have control over. And even if it's your mental health, which can be simply just the way you choose to think. And that can be a process in itself. But either way, physical, mental, spiritual health, start with one. And what, as we always talk about, what are the simple baby steps that you can do today to get yourself start taking that goal? Start working your health. And, they, and you start working this that compounds each other. Start building on top of each other, and suddenly you're going to be thriving and very healthy. And in that process, you rediscover yourself. All right, so hopefully all that made sense for you. So let me know your thoughts on that topic, whether you've done it for yourself or not, and anything like that. So, And hopefully the quality of this video turned out pretty good, and uh, we will catch you next time. So take care and balance it to you. Bye-bye.